all right people so yeah right now um I'm on my way to look at a car but yeah um, I'm on my way to look at a car another project I <clears throat> if I do get it I'm getting rid of the 7 series like one I don't have space for it and two when we see the car you'll see exactly why and me selling the 7 series will mean that it will make finishing this car way easier <laughs> yeah my allergies are bothering me but yeah um it'll be pretty cool from what i've seen it's pretty good it has some good stuff on it um and yeah they, well actually like i did plan on doing something like this and you guys will see exactly what i'm talking about when you get to the car but for content purposes and everything and just having like you know a variety of things to choose from um i always wanted to do this so yeah my bad hold on like my allergies are really acting crazy right now nice stance on that civic there or, yeah that's a civic and it's an si pretty nice all right so it's a turbo e36 not in venos LS coils and it's an M50, so M50 manifold um, has uh, overflow. And is this oh, that's probably for the uh, oil. Has quite a bit of things: coilovers, uh, radiator hoses, electric fan. Um, everything has like some nice like AN lines and everything like that. I don't really see much oil or anything like down on the bottom of the block so it looks like they may have if not a stock replacement head gasket then it may be just like a single layer one but I'm not too sure uh, has a MS3 the body itself looks pretty decent the typical E36 surface rust stuff and all that type of stuff under the underneath the car. But again, it's like the first one, Alpine White. Let's see, it's Alpine White. Which one? Uh, let me see. I wonder if it's one, two, or three. Yeah. Oh, Alpine White 2. Look at that. It's a different one I've had. Alpine white one and Alpine white Was it three? I don't know, but I've had two of them. I have not had two so Look at that. That'll be something new. It won't be the same E36 all over again But I mean also this one is non veno So this one will have the uh, dual valve springs stock so higher rev limit and it'll live happier in the high rev limit. And I won't have to do anything to the head to make dual valve springs work. Like going for a super um, super tech or whatever that thing is called. So, yeah, what it needs is a tune. It is on a base map. Um, so, yeah, we would just probably have to go through it and see what it has and what it needs. And we should be good after that and i'm waiting for a sticker guy to get back to me because he's not too far away and he is familiar with these so he would also be able to tune it so um yeah we would just have to get button it up and send it through and then he was saying that the uh issue is the way that this thing was connected it looks very yeah yeah as you can see it's not really like soldered on there or anything it, it's just like they're just like sketchy. Yeah. And they don't sell that like they do the top one, which I don't I still. Alright, so Thermal Tiber and 
and oil pressure. And this one is boost. Oh yeah, this, that's how I got 84. it. I never around. 